things are of course in the climatic change and uh, today probably a blessing of uh, rain in uh, Rua city i don't know whether other parts are having the same but uh, for Rua city yes it's a blessing uh rain that of course a little bit teased a bit at around 11 a.m uh, but uh, of course started at around 12 or noon and uh, you did say a lot of things that probably are happening i believe for the farmers they should be happy because uh, this is sign of uh, the return of rain in uh, the in, 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 in of course the region and we expecting probably a lot of things that will be coming so we thank god for this blessing uh probably uh, for the uh, rain that has come through um a lot of things that we shall be talking about in uh, today's uh, of course uh, sports analysis uh, but of course i'll be giving you different updates from different regions that will be coming up right there owen ezaga is my name and of course uh, today as a lone striker i'll be giving you more details uh, on uh, different sports disciplines that are happening uh, right in the country and uh first and foremost uh, one of the interesting one is uh, the user uh, uh football that is ongoing uh, where of course a lot of things are happening uh in uh, different regions uh, how the results have come up how and where which teams will be representing we shall be giving you all that uh, right here for those who are tuning in yes you can also drop your message for those who are following us from the facebook platform you can drop your message and probably it will be right there and uh, for those who also on the uh on uh, maybe the YouTube, you can also still drop your messages and there uh, will be maybe your questions, uh, your uh, what you want to know about uh, any sports discipline that will be right there. We'll be giving you there uh, all that. Now, you have a couple of uh, time, uh, probably you have enough time to discuss with me by that is texting uh, uh, or typing in your comment so that we give you or I give you what exactly you need to know about it. Now, let's start with the big stories uh, right there. Headliners, uh, yes, the USA games are going on uh, and we did see a lot uh, that came through uh, from, uh, of course, the USA uh, games in the region. First of all, West Nile, we have a couple of them that we shall be talking about. Uh, if you look at um, that, oh, when we put that aside, we also do have uh, what we shall talk about is uh, uh, the national team, uh, of course, that traveled and had a game yesterday. What exactly was the outcome? We shall be talking about the top scorer uh, chat over the Uganda Premier League. That means that will bring us straight to the Uganda Premier League. You will also be discussing with me about that. And uh, not forgetting, of course, uh, the talks about uh, the international football that is happening right there. What about the qualifiers for the Africa Cup of Nations that is also ongoing uh, and different countries are playing right there so all those will be on uh, that is the desk for you today and uh, i'll be giving you all what you need from here now let's start with a big story coming in from the USA games yes yesterday at st charles luanga we did see a very interesting game I remember the Koboko district uh, uh, ball games started a little bit late and uh, still teams are doing very, very good in there. Uh, the Nyangliya says, uh, talk about Koboko uh, side, there's, uh, there's uh, the, goal, uh, the Global Eden ISS, there's uh, St. Charles Luanga, that is also part of uh, this uh, very, very team, uh, all schools that it was representing. So all those are some of the schools that are right there. But yesterday we did see a school that is coached by uh, Mr. Onama Bosco, who is uh, the head coach of uh, St. Charles Luanga, one of the legendary schools, by the way, in uh, that is uh, the, 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 the rest now region, and of course in Koboko, they tried pushing in there, and uh, their uh, play has been one big one. They played against St. Charles uh, Yume last time, and got, of course, a very tremendous win, and now uh, yesterday was a tight one for them against, that is, St. Charles uh, uh, Luanga against uh, Global, and that also went on uh, right there to, 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 to give hard time to St. Charles Luanga. But according to Onama Bosco, the head coach, he did say that uh, the team that he has is still a developing team. It's still a new environment for him. Remember, he's also the head coach of Araka Football Club in Yumbe. He is uh, a football uh, head coach for a uh, football club. Now, again, for the school. That's one big thing. Remember, schools have uh, said, uh, in fact, the, the, the federation and the USA had requested for schools to have a uh, uh, qualified coaches to make sure that this moves smoothly. And remember, these schools after playing, maybe the schools that pr uh, promoted and qualify will always give you the best. And what do I mean by the best? They will represent the country in uh, the East African Games. So USA, together with, of course, the Federation of Uganda Football Association, trying to see that structure-wise, these schools should have the best and the knowledge of uh, the coaches that are probably have been taught. Now, if you look at the coaches of... Um, 
over 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 Vara. Uh, you saw the ones over races you did see they had also qualified coaches uh samson has a calf uh, of course uh, uh a calf a calf b is trying to do a calf c is trying to get in there so he has a calf c is trying to do it b and probably pushing for a and the rest you seeing uh, that uh, the guy who of course jamal Dean was also one big name uh, for the russ and every team that uh, of course qualified uh, umar uh, umar was one of the team uh, members for uh, in the technical team of a team russ these are all coaches who have papers so it gives you that they brought in the knowledge of uh, coaching to that is the uh, secondary school games uh, and which of course helped and made the teams to progress well and that you will be seeing them representing in that is uh, uh, the West Nile region, uh, regionals that will be coming through and of course I did tell you 14th will be another big day to see the regionals. Remember these regionals are going to be played at St. Charles Luanga according to reports I did give you and of course according to the reports coming in from the user side right there. Now this gives you a uh, question of how exactly prepared the teams could be ahead of the games that will be coming in the region. I did give you a list of teams uh, that probably have had uh, a very very tremendous uh, game uh, right there but i want to give you a summary of uh, the how the region are uh, doing uh, right there and there are some parts that have not yet gotten their results and of course how clubs uh, i mean how the schools have done but i feel that i've gotten i'll be giving you right there when uh, we start with the rua city right here i did give you what exactly meant for a team like uh, Mvara SS uh, to achieve. Now today will be the decision they will sit and see whether they should be celebrating for the trophy and make sure something maybe organized comes in there. I was in uh, Kumi uh, during the weekend. A team called, uh, uh, there's a team called Wings. Uh, uh, school, I mean a school called uh, Wingets that were the champions after quite a long time that they have been qualifying but they couldn't really win the trophy. They won the trophy in the boys category and uh, this team probably uh, did get to what is called, uh, they had a party uh, where we were uh, residing in the halls of uh, that is uh, where we were residing and indeed you did see them have the first impression and motivate the players. They were very very happy. They will be also representing their, uh, sc the school will be representing in the regionals over that is uh, uh, the eastern side right there so we shall be waiting to see how that would be but that is that side now for here um, Vara SS will be representing you have a Rua SS that will be representing and of course a Niva High that is the Nile High uh, which is in Idiofe uh, that uh, of course has been uh, rebranded as Niva High they will be representing in uh, that is the regional still in the regionals we also do have uh, that is uh, the, uh, the, 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 the side in uh, the greater Alur sub region Yes, we did see Nebi Town, uh, of course, uh, Nebi Town, yes, SS, beating team uh, Daniels and Daniel Componi, where, of course, they had also a very, very big uh, way and became the champions of that, uh, of course, district of Nebi or the municipality of Nebi and got themselves uh, 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 the, 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 the trophies for that is the user or the uh, post-primary ball games uh, in that district. So they will also be representing from that district in the regionals. Uh, we shall be waiting to see how that would be. Now elsewhere, you also did see in Pakwachi. Uh, yes, Pakwachi had also one of the biggest uh, performance where Pakwachi had a very, very big big one. Now, Wedlai uh, SS is uh, the team that, of course, went or uh, became champions uh, after beating uh, St. Martyrs uh, uh, College and uh, becoming the champions means that uh, they had everything possible probably to put uh, forward uh, ahead of uh, that is uh, the encounter. They did everything possible to become the champions uh, and uh, Wedlai, uh, yes, it's uh, a big one for them. You will be watching them again in the, uh, at, 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 at that is St. Charles Luanga in Koboko ahead of the games that will be coming up right through uh, of, uh, that is uh, the big, uh, big, uh, big encounters from different schools in the region. West Nile is large. Remember, from Pakwach up to that is uh, Ajumani. Yes, that's still West Nile. You will be covering all that to see that uh, all these boys, uh, all the girls uh, participate. And in this region, uh, will be having the team that they will send for the nationals, uh, right, representing West Nile region. Of course, the nationals will also go on, and you will also see the teams or schools that will represent the country after the nationals into what is called uh, uh, the East African Games. Now, before we get to all that, I have a lot that I need to give you here. Uh, why uh, after Pakwach, of course, we want to go to Zombo, where how teams are away. Of course, very many teams also come through. And in Zombo, Paida SS, this time round, 
had the bragging rights uh, to become the champions uh, after playing, of course, uh, tremendously well and uh, became champions after beating St. Aloysius, uh, of course, uh, Nyapea in uh, right there in the finals. Now, this gives them an upper hand probably also to represent. But remember, every team that is always beaten, like Aloysius, will still come into the regionals because three uh, sports, uh, uh, three uh, slots have been given uh, right there. At the same time, Maracha SS, yes, Maracha. Uh, in Maracha, we did see uh, the finals also go on and this is one big uh, i mean the finals are going to be going on but this is also one big thing that you should be asking yourself for what happened uh, of course yesterday was uh, uh, of course they were supposed to have their uh, the, the, their games yesterday something that did not happen this is because uh, maracha uh, uh ss uh, had petitioned the team of uh had petitioned, of course, a team, uh, and, uh, which, of course, has affected them because uh, the petition worked out and Maracha became uh, winners or won th this moment uh, to see that they got themselves uh, through right there. That means uh, uh, now uh, Maracha will be taking on Yivo after they had petitioned uh, uh, that is Kijomoro SS. Now, Kijomoro has failed to make sure that they will uh, pro uh, progress after, I think, using an eligible player. Uh, that will be uh, one of the biggest things. So, uh, the eligibility of a player is very key also in these games uh, and that is one thing that could have costed uh, very many uh, schools uh, right there now for Kijomoro SS after even reaching because today was supposed to be yesterday was supposed to have the finals which did not work out now according to reports coming in from Maracha uh, this time round uh, indicates that uh, the finals of these games will be played on uh, a Friday 20 I mean on Thursday 28th which is going to be tomorrow and uh, we shall be witnessing either whether Maracha SS or uh, the team of Evil SS will be uh, the champion. So we're waiting to see how exactly that will be like for the two sides uh, or for the two schools uh, after uh, the petition went on successfully ahead of the big uh, encounter right there. Now we're waiting to see how that comes in right there. Uh, not only that district, it's still in the West Nile region. We also do have Terego district. That is one side that someone will be asking me a question about. Terego district also has one uh, big uh, uh, moment to talk about because they also reached up to the finals uh, right there. And uh, in this, uh, Ripia SS uh, beat Timo Riajin to make sure that they took the bragging rights over Terego district uh, and emerged the champions uh, after a very, very big uh, encounter with uh, that is uh, the team of. Uh, of uh, uh, origin ss origin has been one of the dominant uh, schools in uh, uh terrible district uh, but this time around uh, the team of aripia uh, i mean aria ss not aripia aria ss became a uh, champions uh, after really knowing or reading through the books of uh, that is the team of um the team of uh, of course origin Elsewhere still in the West Nile region, we did see Vura, that is a new district right there, having also their games going on. And this time around, it is Ushindi uh, that has been uh, crowned champions over the Vura district uh, post-primary ball games under the USA, of course, uh, football right there. Now, of course, USA has uh, really organized uh, this time around. Remember, clubs and other, the rest were called in for, uh, I mean, schools, uh, head teachers, games teachers were called in for the preparation uh, of uh, the, 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 the games that are coming. Now, my one thing is that uh, this time round, there's that way that schools have been eliminated or pushed away from uh, the competition. Remember, as uh, schools could be getting for what is called uh, these ball games, you would also see netball. But this time round, netball has been pushed to second term and second term remember this is when schools do also have or secondary schools do get into what is called athletics now their athletics will still progress but again schools will also have to invest in what is called the netball now that is one big thing that is coming through and uh, to me i feel it's a challenge because what ab what about if owen is a, a student of uh, let's say uh west nile television uh and 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 and, and i have talent in uh, I have talent in what is called, uh, uh, I have talent in uh, both athletics and I have talent in the netball. Where do I lie? Because the, the, the two could be one big thing. We saw a player called Ajiga in, uh, in Arua here. He was both talented in athletics and football. 
He performed very well in football, and he also did. Uh, he also was performing very well in athletics, taking the school uh, right there. That was by then. So, are we going to be limiting our, uh, uh, students uh, of their talent? Because if you fail to progress in the football, now you will have to go into uh, the netball. Remember, this time round, instead, uh, what was brought in was called uh, the schools that have been uh, the, the, the schools uh, the, the, the the school girl ball uh, footballs yeah that was brought in and indeed you would see that there's one thing that has been brought not even given a lot of time for them to train i expected this to come gradually but again still under this and netball should also progress wow a lot of talent in one thing that's one big thing that we're trying to limit but i believe talent wise we really 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 need to uh, uh, really really look into this for uh, for one more time uh, because uh, if we are going to be breaking it here and there there are a lot of challenges that we are going to be facing because my talent may be football and netball now you're failing me netball because you want me to concentrate on what is called uh, uh, the, 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 the the athletics Wow, it's going to be so challenging. But all in all, I believe uh, the teams should uh, really strategize and make sure things work out right there. But I just want to give you that, uh, yes, it was Ushindi this time around that went through uh, in Vura uh, district uh, to see that they get themselves uh, uh, through right there. Now, if you leave that there, uh, when we look at uh, the university league is going on, but before we get to that, in uh, other big, big talking point, Ginger... Uh, we had uh, a very big game. Remember, it has always been Jeep, uh, Jipra. Yeah, Jipra SS. Uh, that has been right there. When I talk about Jipra, you know what I mean. Uh, this time round, it was not their day. It was the day for Ginger Comprehensive and uh, Lakeside uh, SS that, of course, took the bragging rights. They had to dump out uh, the favorites to storm the finals over the Ginger City 2024. Uh, of course, uh, USA football games right there wow so challenging now um one of the players i uh, plays for uh, is studying with uh, that is uh the side of uh, Ginger Progressive Academy, which is normally called Jipra. I'm talking about uh, Janiyako James. He plays for Ndubaraka Football Club. He was in this game. Of course, they reached up the semifinals, but things did not work out. Now, this is how the results went on. Uh, Ginger Comprehensive, of course, became uh, played a goalless draw with that is Ginger uh, Secondary School. But in the post uh, penalties, you did see the game end four five on aggregates. Of course, Ginger Comprehensive beating t uh, team Ginger SS uh, by five by uh, five four and that means they couldn't really score all the five goals uh, to make sure that they progress but whereas lakeside uh, this time round uh, took uh, it very hard oh, now that is the team of ginger progressive academy jipra by beating them by three goals uh, three solid goals uh, to one and that is how they, uh, they, they, they uh, uh, perused through or moved through to the finals now they will be facing that means lakeside will be taking one that is ginger comprehensive uh, in the finals over the ginger city uh usa football games uh, that will be coming right there we are waiting to see how exactly that will be It is not what they have been waiting uh, ahead of, uh, of course, the games that are coming right there. So that is one big thing uh, that, of course, has also raised people's eyebrows. What exactly went wrong? <laughs> Things happen because you will always be expecting 
uh, changes in the way of football and uh, different people who change probably and uh, add in uh, uh, the, the beautiful scenes of football. Yeah, so it's one big thing that went in there. Now, let's get to the University League, uh, where, of course, you did see uh, University League also continues with uh, a lot of things are there. Nkumba University this time round up getting the bragging rights, uh, trying to edge Kampala University to see that they peruse or cruise to the uh, University League semifinals 2023-2024 uh, after a very, very uh, big uh, class. Uh, that came in there. Semi-finals, so two things. The first leg, Kampala University uh, beating Nkumba, uh, losing to Nkumba by one goal. Uh, we shall be uh, witnessing the second round, probably see how that would be. Of course, the Wakiso District Best institu uh, Institution aged the team that is best in Kampala after a very big one at Luzira. And now we shall be seeing the second leg played at Luzira, uh, Prisons Grounds. That's where Maroons plays their game, of course, in Luzira. We will be waiting to see how they will also want to push it harder, maybe to progress to the next level uh, this game will be one of the biggest one uh, right there so an own goal from that is uh, Tony Ndasi that made of course the team past his uh, own goalkeeper uh, uh, of course Brian Ozele that made this not go to the right direction not to what they expected and this is one big one now we shall be seeing now Nkumba University allowed the players for the great job and pushed of course say that this uh, this was a very big one of course after the head coaches uh, post from uh, post uh, match uh, press conference uh, he said he really wants to applaud the players and probably put the players uh, uh, thank the players for the collective effort that they have gotten in there, the collective effort that they have brought together to see that the team moves rightly. So he is uh, in his quote, he said, I want to thank the players for the brave display in the victory over Kampala University. They played collectively uh, as one as, uh, as unity and we are now preparing for the second leg that will be right there in the home and that is uh, of course the Dr. Bosa who of course came through. He is the man coaching by the way, the team, Bosa, if you have not known Bosa, and that's how exactly the team is. So, University League continues. We're waiting to see how this will be ending, and I'll probably push a lot, a lot, a lot uh, from the teams that are probably going to be uh, getting right there. Um, if we leave the games like that, now let's cross to Uganda Premier League. Uganda Premier League has a big encounter that is coming through uh, for that is the team of uh, Kessel CA and the team of uh, Viper Sports Club. Uh, you know, it's going to be on 30th, yes, on 30th, where Viper Sports Club will be welcoming the team of uh, 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 URAE. That's a clash of the Titans, battle over that is uh, the top slot. But we have also noted that Sports Club Villa game with uh, the team of Vipers has also been shifted or the date has now been confirmed. We shall be waiting to see what exactly is there. And the new date that has been revealed shows that uh, the team of Vipers and uh, Villa will have to wait a little bit, uh, a few days uh, to see that their games are played. The two clubs will face on 9th April 2024 according to uh, the report that has just come right here and this game will be at uh, Mutesa 2 Wankulukuku Stadium as of course the rest for the champions this season continues. Now that's going to be one interesting fixture that we shall be waiting uh, to see but all in all that is where I want us to turn our focus to and uh, still push it to what exactly the clash of the top square chart looks like. Yeah? Before we get to what exactly Uganda has in there. Now three players are already in the contest and uh, these three players are one of the key players right there. One is uh, West Nile's own, uh, he's called uh, Mo Shaban or Mohamed Shaban, who of course is the man on the top square chart right now with uh, 11 goals, yes, Mohamed Shaban. Then you have uh, the man by the names of Dennis Omedi, he plays for Chitara, Shaban plays for Kessie. He is another man with, uh, of course, um, yes, with, with, with 11 goals to his name. What else? There is also this man called uh, Nelson Senkatuka. He plays for Soul Tilo Bright Stars. Uh, Nelson Senkatuka is another name right there. Now, the contest.
hottest for the 2023-2024 Uganda Premier League continues. Where would you throw yours? Give me, uh, of course, uh, that message probably on the Facebook. I'll be checking through and see what exactly you say. Uh, maybe on the YouTube. And I'll also be checking through and see what your predictions will be like. Uh, drop your comments uh, and we shall also be letting you know of what you think right now. Now, now the three players are all tied on uh, what is called uh, 11 points uh, or 11 goals to their name for their different clubs uh, right there. After, of course, making a very, very uh, outstanding performance uh, this season, 2023-2024 season. Remember, Shaban started like uh, he was not being given or trusted by the before coach who was fired. And uh, But when the man by the names of... Uh, Abdallah Mubiru came into the team. He has trusted the player and made sure that this worked out right there. Now, Dennis Omedi joined Nelson Senka. Tuka. If you remember, uh, when they played and, of course, uh, had a very good uh, game after beating URA three goals to nil. Uh, Dennis Omedi was the man who scored uh, the first goal for the team after that. But Senka Tuka, uh, for him, he registered uh, no goal as Bright Stars drew or shared uh, that point, 2-2 two -two all draw uh, with Busoga United, but he hasn't also uh, found the back of the net yet again, uh, past a four of, uh, that is the league games uh, right there. Since he scored the only goal against Bright Star, beat Wakiso Giants 1-0 uh, at, uh, that is Kavuma uh, Recreation Center on, uh, that is uh, not on, but in February, because uh, uh, that was a very big game that they saw in uh, February. Uh, for Mohamed Shaban, he did not play against KCC, uh, game against uh, in the KCS game against Viper Sports Club maybe who knows he is uh, always the rainmaker uh, for that is KCC uh, this time round and he could maybe have scored but thank God uh, we thank uh, that is uh, the brilliancy of Mustafa Chiza who of course got in there remember that time Mohamed Shaban was suspended due to accumulated yellow cards that he couldn't really put it forward uh, for the team to uh, progress so it affected him a little bit that he couldn't uh, really make there but a stoppage uh, time cluster now, by that is Mustafa Chiza, who also had to make sure that KCC still remained the, the city, uh, of course, giants right there against uh, uh, the St. Mary's best side at Viper Sports Club right there, formerly Budnamuaya. Now, all in all, uh, besides Senka Tuka, Shaban and Omedi, only one player is also trying to prove wrong. I'm talking about Isaac uh, Wagiona who has been one of the key names for Express Football Club on the tally right there, pushing hard every time. And now he is also one name who is trying to prove it wrong to the world that he can still chase for the titles. Now, I'll be giving you a list of uh, those who are also following uh, the names that I've just mentioned. Three who are all tied on 11 goals uh, this season uh, right there. And the five top scorers include Nelson Senkatuka, who has 11 goals uh, to his names, yes, he plays for Bright Stars, and uh, he is uh, one big one. Now, how did he get his 11 goals? Um, I remember he scored a hat-trick. Yes, hat-trick. Again, that is uh, Arua Hill uh, before the West Nile-based side uh, were, of course, uh, ejected from the start times Uganda Premier League. Uh, and, uh, of course, they, uh, besides their competition licenses, uh, was withdrawn uh, to participate from uh, the top tier. I'm talking about the first tier of uh, Ugandan football. I'm talking about the start times Uganda Premier League. And that affected uh, them uh, to be withdrawn. Uh, the bright star, uh, of course, captain still made more. He scored a breast and uh, scored, of course, uh, a goal uh, each against URA. He scored against Mbarara City. He scored against Busoga United. He scored against Gaddafi. He scored against Sports Club Villa. And he did score against UPDF. And not forgetting Chitara and Wachiso Giants that he also scored against. So that makes his goals, uh, uh, his goal tally uh, to 11 over. That is what we're talking about. Still, for that is the uh, man also with 11 goals, uh, Mohamed Shaban. I love calling him Mo Shaban, but very many call him Ijagason because that's the nickname that was given to him. He has 11 goals for KCCA this season. After even he was uh, in the first round, uh, so much benched, but he came back and said, this is the time to prove the world that I still do believe in myself. Uh, and that is the rainmaker, Mo Shaban. Now, of course, the West Nile best side, uh, I mean, our uh, player, uh, has also done a lot after scoring uh, for that is even the national team, by the way. Shaban recorded a breast against Viper Sports Club, and then he scored in the first round, by the way. Uh, then he scored against Gaddafi and Neck Football Club, respectively, plus a goal uh, each against Maroons Football Club. Express Football Club, and not forgetting, of course, the team of Bright Star, URA, 
and uh, not forgetting UPDF. And again, he scored against Express in that is their second round of the game. Now, the third player, the third player is Dennis Omedi. Dennis Omedi plays for Chitara. Chitara got him from Boma FC. He played for Boma in the big league. Uh, he is a force, uh, a prison, uh, let's say police, yes, a police officer. He is uh, in the forces with the security team, but he plays for the team of uh, Chitara. He was from police, I remember, but uh, still he had to come and play for Boma in Masindi after the, uh, he had a tremendous and he was a top scorer by then in the start in, this, uh, in, the, in the big league last season. Now, Chitara had to of, uh, of, of, of course, Masindi before, of course, he crossed over. Now, Dennis Omedi uh, had a hat-trick against UPDF. He then scored one each goal against KCCA, remember? And then uh, the Wachiso Giants, in, uh, that is uh, the first and the second rounder, respectively, plus a goal that he scored uh, each at uh, Chitara and a uh, sports club, Villa, Bull Football Club, Arua Hill Sports Club, and URA right there. Those are the guys for, uh, for the top three. Now, top three, we have other people. Could they get there? If they put the heart, could they surprise the world? Is another question that we shall be asking. Now, I just talked about uh, the man Isaac Wagiona, who of course plays for the team of uh, Express. This man, or this gentleman, has managed to score 10 goals. He's only one goal shy the leaders who have 11. And uh, he's good. He plays for Express. He scores goals for fun. If you remember, uh, he has scored so far two goals in Express, uh, who, of course, uh, uh, two, uh, in the two meetings with the KCCA. And then uh, he also scored each goal at home and away. He banged uh, breast against Neck Football Club and at the same time managed to score a goal uh, each against Euro A Sports Club and not forgetting Viper Sports Club and Gaddafi Football Club, Bright Stars, Asol Tilo, and UPDF. He's doing well. He's doing well. Another uh, one in the top five, I should say, is Fred Amaku, whom I will not really leave out. He is uh, one player who has done Maroon's uh, wonders, scoring nine goals this season. Amaku scored uh, twice in Maroon's uh, two meetings with Sports Club Villa uh, this season. He scored a go uh, each and home and away basis against, uh, of course, uh, the team of Kersusie and uh, of, uh, Mbarara City, uh, Kataka, uh, not Kataka, Chitara, Vipers, and Gaddafi, not forgetting UPDF. Uh, UPDF has featured in all these players' uh, scoring list. So that's how it is. Top five of the Uganda uh, of the Star Times Uganda Premier League, first tire, Elite League. That's where we can always uh, look at you. Uh, those are the players that have done so well. Uh, so we're expecting to see uh, the rest continue because there are still a couple of games left for these players to write their names to see where exactly they could push it, to see where exactly they can break it off. And that is exactly what we are looking and waiting for. Now, who is your top scorer of uh, the season, you think? Who do you think will take the top scorer's uh, golden boot? Start times Uganda Premier League this season is my question. Drop your comment. I'll be reading them through in the second half of this very show. We shall be taking a break. When I come back, I'll be giving you some of the international stories. And Uganda yesterday did eat us once again after Mohamed Shaban came with an equalizer for Uganda lately. What happened in the game is what I shall be coming to give you. And at the same time, United are interested in bringing Wolverhampton Wanderers head coach in Manchester United in the technical team, but not as the head coach of the team. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. Nile TV, lighting up. 
the region. TV lighting up the region. And for those who probably are still have just tuned in right now, West Nile Television is where uh, you're getting this. And it's the Whistle Time live on West Nile Television. Owen Ezaga is my name and I will still be taking you through up to that is 3 p.m. And I will be giving you all what you really need to know about all the sports uh, uh, stories that is coming right there. But all in all, one of the biggest things. Um, I've just seen uh, comments right here. Yes, it's a rural district. Uh, one person was asking about uh, which district is that if I'm talking about. It's a rural district, sorry. Uh, it's a rural district that I'm talking about. That is uh, where, of course, Varices is also found. So thank you so much uh, for keeping right there. I've just seen a message also uh, coming through here saying that uh, the team of uh, uh, St. Charles Luanga today, today lost. And uh, that is also another big one because they were supposed to uh, perform uh, just like how people were expecting. So they lost the game. <laughs> yeah, um, we'll be, I'll be coming back to give you who are those uh, probably getting it right from where and how exactly the teams are pushing in there. Um, I, I Laura Zubes, thank you so much for that because you gave me an update about uh, the, the, the game that has been played today and uh, the team over, uh, that is uh, St. Charles Luanga losing right there. So you can still keep it right there uh, by dropping in your messages, by uh, checking through. Let me check also your messages. I'll be checking them and giving you all the details right there. So keep dropping the messages. Uh, give me your prediction of Mohamed Shaban, of uh, Mohamed Shaban, or Dennis Omedi, or even the man uh, Freda Ma uh, Maku, or the man uh, uh, Wangona, who is Isaac, who is for Express. Could it be the man by the names of? Uh, uh, Nelson Senkatuka, who would be the champion uh, or the, the, the top scorer of this, we are yet to see what exactly. Thank you so much, a lot of zooms for watching. Uh, and then uh, there's uh, this uh, a man called uh, Eranya Godfrey. Uh, of course, thank you so much. Uh, we, uh, you're the guy who corrected a little bit of uh, the Vura district, and uh, it's not Vura district; it's a rural district. Uh, of course, that got off from uh, the uh, when a rural city came. Of course, they had to shift them to uh, that is a rural district. Thank you so much uh, for that, and. Uh, I hope I've cleared the public. 
And then there's uh, Sons, UG Vibes. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, from that is Gulu City. And uh, thank you so much for keeping it right there. Um, Sande Obuku says uh, Muhammad Shaban will walk away uh, with, of course, uh, the golden boot, uh, uh, considering the current form of uh, Kessie in that is the second round of the league, as, uh, of course, catching live from Chireka. Thank you so much for loving the show. Now you can still get uh, right there as uh, drop in your comment uh, on what we can do. Uh, before we get to all those, there's also a very big one, as South Sudan yesterday had a very very uh big game after of course they had to peruse through to what is called uh uh the next level yeah now south sudan will be uh will be impressed by the performances of uh, the players who are really doing very well and uh, their qualification means data's only goal was so decisive as uh, south sudan reached to that is uh, uh, the group stages of the AFCON uh, 2025 qualifiers very outstanding data is one player you've seen he has been playing and scoring goals but this time around he has done a lot a lot for his nation right there let me give you a result of uh, the teams that probably went there south sudan played against uh, sao tome uh, on a game that was of course an aggregate uh, right there uh, the aggregate was 1-1 but of course you did see them pushing that game in 0-0 and zero, zero. Uh, then liberia 0-0 zero, zero with djibouti which of course saw it 2-0 on aggregates estoni of course uh, also 2-2 two, two all against somalia uh, on aggregates you did see it in a 5-2 basing on the previous games of course um, our antennas, uh, one two against that is chad and joseph that has goal in the first leg proved of course uh, uh, the key hours uh, south sudan went in there yeah so yesterday they had to just hold these players uh, our south tommy uh, to a goalless draw which of course helped them by the what is called uh, the away goal rule of course they, 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 it was the rules that now of the game that pushed them uh, to the next level so that is one interesting one and of course the uh, that uh, gave of course the team to push in there now estonia chad liberia and south sudan are the teams to watch for yeah we're waiting for them Congratulations, the neighbors, uh, South Sudan. Uh, we shall be waiting to see how that uh, pushes right there. Just like I did say, drop in your comments. I will be reading them and probably uh, mentioning you right there uh, for those who are following it right there. Now, yesterday, Uganda had uh, another outclash in what is called uh, the international friendlies. Uh, one of them was uh, between uh, Uganda and Comoros, which of course ended 4-0 as Uganda was humiliated uh, by Comoros, in Ga uh, of course, in their tour in Ghana. Uh, and then you did see also Uganda uh, having another game against Ghana yesterday, and they were held, by the way. Uh, in that result, Uganda... get to where they needed to really uh, make amends uh, because uh, if you look at the team of uh, uh, Morocco yes it was it was it was a good one after they had that friendly on Tuesday so I believe it is a one big thing still the talking point comes to Mohamed Shaban because he's doing well the KCF forward couldn't really leave it untouched after all that so two to all draw uh we did see uh of course uh, uh the steven mukwala dezo also getting uh to the score sheet for uganda remember uh, the team of uh, ghana had scored in the sixth minute in the seventh minute late uh, as soon as uh, of course the game started steven dezo mukwala had to make an equalizer but still we did see in the 22nd minute uh, a penalty after that is roger smato's uh, uh, foul that he committed i uh, was uh, in the area and uh, they had to convert it to the back of the net but later on very happy was that is Mohamed Shaban's convert, uh, uh, converting uh, the goal uh, for that is uh, team Uganda. And now to make it 2 2 all draw, that means Paul Put is one of the excited um, uh, coaches right now for Shaban because that was a rescue. Otherwise, two losses <laughs> would be another one. We could be seeing axe 
very soon. I'm expecting, uh, uh, of course, him, if he doesn't deliver well, you're going to be seeing him axed before even the games get there. So let him watch out. That is my advice. But for, that is the, uh, for, 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 for the country, I think we should give also patience and time to coaches to get their best teams right there. So this is what happened. And in his speech, he was like, I'm very happy with the result because we played one of that is the strongest teams in Africa. So I think, uh, uh, I think the, player, uh, the players made a good performance. Uganda Cranes coach Paul Put stated that right there. And that is exactly what we are looking onto and we shall be uh, making sure that this gets through to what is called uh, uh, the next level. So, Uganda, we shall wait to see because the preparation still keeps going on uh, for what is called uh, uh, the preparation continues for the games that will be coming right there. But, can they make it through to the Africa Cup of Nations? 2027, they're saying this, but they're pre preparing for the 2025. 2027 is what they want to do as Pomoja bid. So we're waiting to see how 2025 will be like. Uh, can Uganda make the progress? That's one big thing that we shall be waiting to see in right there. Okay. Um, now let's cross away from that and look at uh, uh, the team of, uh, that is, uh, of course, Uganda, that fought back. Yes, it's done, but internationally internationally there are a lot of stories that i can give you one of them is about the transfers to a second of course a lot of stories trending about manchester united uh there are a lot of stories about arsenal who also trying so much there are a lot of stories that are moving around in there but internationally i've just told you united want to replace and want to bring in a new coach uh they want to bring in um uh, what is called uh, the one to bring in also uh, a player uh, or a striker to their name. Now, just one hour ago, there was a story that broke up as Manchester United are considering an approach for the player by the names of uh, Ivan Tony, the striker who is being looked into by Arsenal, Chelsea, now Manchester United. They all need Ivan Tony. Remember, uh, Ivan Tony is one key player that has been talked about. Now, United wants to hijack this player after, of course, a very big uh, talks that came through uh, between the coach. Uh, remember, Ivan Tony uh, getting into his team means that they have a lot, a lot, a lot they need to do to make sure this comes in there. Rismos Holland is uh, at Manchester United, but he is yet to develop. He's a young player. He needs to acclimatize to the English Premier League. Yes, he's trying to get goals here and there, but they want an experienced player who is like Ivan Tony, who, of course, is one name to talk about now. That is what United is looking into, and they want to boost in their uh, forward. Ahead of that is the Champions League, and, of course, uh, the 2024-2025, they want to be in the Champions League, they want to be in the Premier League, uh, contesting uh, for that is uh, the game. So well, let's wait and see what will come. That's the current story. But again, in other stories, uh, United want the Premier League manager to join coaching. And I'm talking about Wolverhampton is uh, head coach, who is, of course, called uh, Gary O'Neill, who has been linked with the move to United. Not as a head coach, but as in the technical team. That's what they want to do. What do you think about that? You can still drop your comments, because if United gets the services of this coach, and maybe Ratcliffe is looking into uh, cementing uh, more experience into that is the Manchester United technical team talks about Gareth Southgate hit a snack of course we, yes we have seen the uh, we have seen that coming in there uh, about him coming in we saw him in the England team to me I don't see him as being a good choice for United but of course he's on the list we have uh, Brentford's Thomas Frank I talked about him yesterday he's around uh, uh, one player that uh, I mean one coach they're looking onto but again there's also this man called uh, 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 the, the Graham Porter was also on the list I did see and also uh, the man uh, himself uh, uh, the current coach Eric Ten Hag still remains one name right there but they want to boost uh, the team in, uh, the, in the team so it's one of the biggest thing we are expecting to see right from there but again look at England how is it 
Gareth Southgate, I know I'm yet to see. But uh, all in all, that's one big thing there. Uh, yesterday, we did see Jude Bellingham, of course, uh, uh, snatching a draw for that is the team of England against Belgium. But one uh, a big, in the, uh, big, big, big talking point is about the young boy, uh, Kobe Maino, who, of course, got his chance uh, to play for United in the starting lineup. And, of course, he also got himself an accolade over being... Uh, uh, the, 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 the best player of the game, uh, which of course means very, very big. So this time round, uh, we did see the two teams pushing in there. Kobe Mino now joins uh, young boys, uh, Marcus Rashford, Jude Bellingham. You've seen him join them as, of course, being the third youngest player to feature in the England's team right there. So it adds in value. We are waiting to see how, of course, he will be performing. I love England or English media because of hyping, but at last, sometimes they hype these players and they don't deliver so much. It makes them become big-headed. Uh, sometimes you don't see them after one or two, three, four years. They, 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 they get off. So it's one big thing that is there. But all in all, it is one of uh, the biggest things trending right now. And this is after he joins uh, Duncan Edwards, uh, Marcus Rashford, uh, in that is the Elite League uh, as the youngest player. Uh, Lucas Paqueta. I uh, also had a uh, net uh, for that is Brazil after, of course, uh, that penalty as Brazil drew six goals thriller with Spain right there. It was all it took individual brilliancy of Lucas Paqueta, who, of course, got this for that is uh, the team. Yes, a team that was captained by, uh, by, by, by Rodri uh, for Spain uh, really had really, really given them a hard time. But still, they meant uh, that they needed really to push in right there. Now, in other stories, uh, Alexandria Isak addressed uh, Newcastle amid his future, uh, of course, uh, his future, because there are talks that uh, Arsenal are linked with this player, Alexandria Isak. Now, it's one big thing that we are also going to be seeing. Uh, also, the Chelsea player by the names of Mukaila Mudrik is also or was also on the score sheet by the way got that late winner uh that sent uh, ukraine to the euros 2024 now real madrid want to battle uh chelsea and arsenal and manchester united for the 18 year old rated player that they want to bring into their team and this player is called uh, lenny yoro he's a defender very outstanding but he's still young 18 years of age he's doing very good and these teams man city liverpool have uh, all talked about him but they want him into the team so mm, mm. <laughs> that's one big thing that is coming in uh, right there real madrid is uh, a quad uh, uh, the, the equid uh, player kamavinga uh, has also been one of the biggest names uh, who has suffered injury in the france's uh, clash that they had and they are going to be missing him right there now let me get your comments a bit after there i probably say it is uh, the day for me uh, to say bye bye in today's uh, show and we'll be catching again uh, till uh, tomorrow. Now, uh, of course, comments just right there. Uh, Sunday UG, yes, still uh, one of the names uh, right there. Iranya, thank you so much for watching. Sunday Obuku, thank you so much for watching. And of course, keeping it right uh, posted right uh, through out uh, the show. Now, we are saying uh, tomorrow there's uh, going to be, it's going to be a Thursday. And uh, there are also a lot of things that are coming from different uh, districts. Uh, we shall be following these uh, post-primary ball games uh, to who and where they will be played. Uh, but you can still be part of uh, the show tomorrow to get more updates on where exactly these, uh, uh, these, these, uh, these games have reached and how far they have reached, uh, probably right there. Um, yes, let me just get your comments here. A few of those whom I have not maybe gotten to. Uh, and then uh, say a good day. Tokos. World says nice one. Thank you so much also for watching Mr. Tokos right there. And all those that have not maybe read maybe from YouTube and the rest of the ch uh, channels, uh, you could also be uh, right there following. But I want to say thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow, let's catch up again at 2 p.m.